Hey guys, this is Patty B within the hauler. I got another firearm I'd like to share with y'all. This is my uh, Walther P38. We'll go ahead and clear it real quick. All right, make sure she's safe. Uh, Walther P38, it was adopted in 1938 by the uh, German army. <clears throat> and it was their uh, main sidearm during World War II. This particular example was made by Spree Work in Czechoslovakia after it had been taken over by the German army. And you can tell that by the uh, code right here, CYQ, which is a uh, code for Spree Work. Uh, they were also made, also made by Walther, which their code is AC, and by Mauser, which is BYF. Uh, they produced over a million of these uh, during the war and then after. And it's a pretty iconic pistol. Um, some of the features on this thing that are kind of cool is kind of is pretty innovative at the time. Is of course it's double and single action. It also has a decocker, so you can safely lower the hammer on a uh, live round. Uh, another interesting one on this is it has a. Uh, loaded chamber indicator. This little plunger here, when it's closed on a live round, sticks this little tit out, and then you can tell when you're loaded. So it's not loaded, so it's flush. If there was a cartridge in there, that tit would stick out. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Um, you know, it's got the good Waffen amps and the Nazi markings on it. Uh, this is an all matching, all matching piece here. Uh, no import, import marks. Um, so it's just, man, it's just iconic pistol growing up watching World War II movies. You know, between like this and the Luger, this is what they used. Comes with an eight round magazine. The, like most European pistols at the time, have the heel release instead of a, you know, the American style button. But still pretty easy, not that, uh, not that difficult. It uh, has a slide lock where it opens, it uh, stays open on the last round, and a slide release. Um, it's pretty cool because, you know, most most of the pistols uh, you see these days are a basic browning design, and, you know, the P38's not. Uh, it's got, like, the falling block design that was carried over in, like, our Beretta 9mm M9 service pistol uh, used for many, many years. Uh, takedown is rather simple. Um, you go ahead and slide, lock the slide back. Rotate your lever, release the slide, release the hammer, and she all comes out the front. Uh, then all you have to do is push the button, and there you go. You've got the barrel, and the breech block, the falling block, and the slide. Super easy, super simple. Uh, installation is the reverse. Go ahead and attach your barrel to the slide. Put it back on. Lock her back. Put your uh, lever down. And there you go. So, uh, it's a pretty cool piece from history. Of course, you know, it's still fairly relevant today. 9x19 Luger, uh, which is still the most popular round these days. It's fun to shoot. And on a uh, World War II German style three gun runs that we do out here. You know, this is a pistol I like to shoot, so. All right, well, uh, let's take her outside, see how she does. Spree work, Walther P38. We're at seven yards, the Walther P38. Uh, we're back here at 15 yards with the Walther P38.
free work, Walther P38.